What's causing all the bizarre phenomena of the Alaska Triangle? Could the answer be found here, on a remote mountain far from human civilization? Over half a million square miles of the Alaska Triangle, 16,000 people missing, and one colossal mountain right at its frozen core. Chilling evidence has now come to light that this ominous icy peak holds within it a deep, dark secret. It sounds like something from science fiction, but are aliens hard at work deep within this mountain? According to a CIA spy from the 1970s, the answer is yes. Top secret military programs, psychic spies, and alien bases, plus we have the death of a key witness. Is this the greatest mystery of the Alaska Triangle? One man who's on a journey to find out the truth is journalist and UFO investigator, James Fox. If the aliens are here, James wants to find them. There has been controversy swirling around for decades as to some sort of secret underground potential alien base. The location of the base is said to be inside Mount Hayes. So that's why I'm here to go and check out Mount Hayes and see if any of the accounts over the last several decades are remotely true. Across the whole of Alaska, there have been more UFO sightings than in any other US state. Can it be a coincidence that it's where so many people are disappearing? Many of the most credible sightings come from near the center of the Alaska Triangle. Jared Augustine is a security officer in Fairbanks, the largest city in the Triangle's interior. He was on night duty when he saw something in the sky that didn't look right. So the day was May 13th, 2016 at 3 a.m. Uh, I was on patrol, being a security officer at the time, and this is where I actually started filming. Oh, what is that? Oh, wow. A strange flashing light suddenly split in three. Whoa. Out in the area, I guess. When I saw it split, I was blown away and I kept watching. And then it did it again, and I was like, okay, this is legit. Something's going on right here. Oh, wow. There's no satellite or aircraft that can divide into three like this. I believe it was a UFO of extraterrestrial origin. And I was shaking. I was really shaking. To date, more than 6,500 UFO sightings have been reported in Alaska. One of the most famous was in 1986, when the crew of a Japanese airline flight watched in horror as two UFOs taunted their plane right in the middle of the triangle. The captain could even feel the heat of the craft on his face. Back in 1950, a Douglas C-54 with 44 people on board simply disappeared from the Alaskan skies. Legend has it that alien activity played a hand. A more recent account in a deserted section of the Triangle describes a squadron of UFOs lighting up the skies. In 2003, Electrician Charles Gaines was out on a job, part of a team building an exclusive tourist lodge. We were working on a remote wilderness lodge about 200 miles south by southeast out of Fairbanks. I stepped outside and I was looking at the night sky like I always do, and I started seeing these lights. There was only three or four of them at first but they were high, they were really high, and they were traveling fast, very fast. 
Then I saw more behind them, then more behind that. I started calling for the other guys, and they all are kind of stunned. There's just an endless stream of them. In Alaska, there have been over 500 reported sightings in the last 20 years alone, about 30 every year. But this was one of the most spectacular. But what happened next was something well beyond our understanding of physics. And then some of them speed up and go ahead of the others, turn around and come back and look as though they're gonna run into another one heading straight on. When they came right up to each other, they would break away at right angles. No slowing down at all. How do they do that? Jesse Desmond is Alaskan State Director for MUFON, the Mutual UFO Network. She's uncovered one story from the Triangle from 1978 that tells of a group of hikers who saw a UFO that had landed nearby. They woke up one morning, they were kind of camped out on a ridge, and there was one UFO landed down in the valley below. So they went down for a hike down to this location. By the time they kind of got there, the UFO had gone away. But the UFO had left behind a grisly scene. They not only saw an indentation of, of swirled natural grasses and small trees and brush, they found carcasses of lots of animals. We're talking moose, bears, caribou, elk, which are not native to Alaska. And they even found a 15-foot killer whale. When Fairbanks security officer Jared Augustine posted his video online, it quickly came to James's attention. Straight away, he made the link with the Charles Gaines sighting. For James, the location was key. Both sightings are close to the center of Alaska. And that means close to Mount Hayes, the mysterious mountain right at its heart. Mount Hayes is at the center of the infamous Alaska Triangle. It's this base that James wants to find. He intends to go to Mount Hayes, and he has good reason to do so, thanks in part to the findings of a secret project funded by none other than the US government. 